I know is COVID, but I thank God for Green Age Movement. I'm going to be working out with resistant brands. Well, this is a ribbon. But come join us for Great Age Movement and get some strong muscles with a resistant brand. Don't use a ribbon. Great Age Movement, you're the best. Thank you for saving me. Great Age. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday, and welcome to the Great Age Movement at Home Lab Series in partnership with the. I'm Hale, a certified personal trainer and your host for today's program. Um, I know you may have seen me here before. I recently have been able to do a couple of programs. And so thank, thank you for having me back. Um, as a reminder and a couple of housekeeping rules, and I want to go over the equipment today, we're going to do an entire exercise routine um, in, in a chair seated using resistance bands. Um, as a reminder, though, I just want to make certain that you have your physician's approval and you have medical clearance to perform today's exercises. If you feel any pain or any weakness or you're dizzy, um, please um, stop doing the exercises and um, sit down and, and don't continue. Um, as a reminder, this program will be um, film so that you can watch it at a later time. If you want to go at your own pace, or you need to quit in the middle. Um, also, make sure you have water on hand. Uh, make sure that you have your water bottles um, so you can take some breaks. You can um, drink some water. And again, take breaks um, between the program. And uh, don't forget your deep breathings. Remember that you want to breathe in. And breathe out. Remember that you don't want to hold your breath during the exercises. Um, okay, so the first thing, again, today we're going to be doing the resistance uh, bands. And what I have here is I have three resistance bands, and they come in a set, the ones that I have. And you have a, a light, and then you have a medium, and then you have a heavy. And the nice thing that I love about resistance bands as a personal trainer is that they're very adaptable. You can use them across the spectrum, whether you're a novice, just starting out exercising, don't have a lot of experience with resistance training. Um, they work very well in that situation. Or if you're an advanced athlete, great adjunct to use in your training. And again, it starts out at light, goes to medium, goes to heavy. So as you progress in your resistance training, you can progress up the line of the resistance bands. Um, the other thing I like about these is they're very portable. You can throw them in a briefcase. You can throw them in a backpack. Um, they're very easy to store. They're very um, inexpensive. You can get these at major department store, Target, Walmart, Amazon. I happen to have picked these up at a Ross store. And most of them come in a set. Uh, they also, a lot of them will come with instructions on uh, certain exercises you can do. So they'll have recommended exercises that you can use with them. So again, it's, they're great, a great adjunct. If you don't have these already, I'd encourage you to pick up some. And then also mine came with a band. So it's actually a closed loop band. And these are great for um, leg, a lot of leg exercises. And we're going to be doing one of those today. And I'll show you um, where you could use this, or you can also use just the resistance band. So we're going to go over that today. Um, and again, the nice thing about a resistance band is that you control the resistance of the band. Um, so for example, um, what I'll show you is that if you want more resistance, then all you do is you hold the outer side of the band. If you want to increase the resistance, then you can go further in and it's going to make the band tighter and harder to pull apart. So again, you can use a single band and adjust your resistance today. Um, and the other thing about today's program is if you need to modify it, if the bands are, are too much or you don't have bands, you can simply use the same movements that I'm showing you and just use your body as resistance and as resistance and you're still going to get a very good workout and then down the road if you happen to get some resistance bands you can incorporate those as well um, so again I love the bands great for exercising 
Um, now, remember that before we get started with any exercise program, uh, you want to do a five to 10 minute warm up where you just kind of warm your body up, kind of get your breathing in line, get your blood flowing. So you want to do a warm up. And then as you remember the program, we want to do a stretching, quick stretching routine just to stretch out the muscles that, that we just worked. So let's, go. let's get started. Let's get started on our um, warm up. And if everybody remembers from my previous shows, we always start at the top. We're going to work our way down. So what I want you to do is um, go ahead and use your neck. Neck muscles go up to the sky and down to the floor. Look up to the sky and down to the floor. I'm not going to do a count for the warm up. I just want you to get a few seconds of each position. Go to the side. Move to the side. Okay. And again, I just want you to stretch, get your breathing going. Again, inhale, exhale. We don't want to hold our breath during any of our exercises. Okay. Now we're going to work. Now we're going to work on our um, shoulders. And so I want to do shoulder rolls. So we're going to go forward for a few seconds on shoulders, kind of get the blood moving, get our body warmed up. And then let's go back on our shoulders. Okay, we're going to go back. All right, very nice. And then we're going to do some circles. Okay, the larger you can do, the better. If you can't, then you can do smaller circles. But I want you to do circles. Very nice. Okay, and then let's reverse it. Okay, reverse it. Get those arms warmed up, those shoulders warmed up. All right. We're going to do some punching. All right, let's do some punching this morning. Okay, so we're going to punch straight. Again, this will work on your upper body, works on your chest, work on your arm muscles. Get everything ready for the exercising. We're getting ready to perform. And let's go to the side. Let's punch this side. Okay, do a little bit of twisting. Easy. All right. Looking good. And then maybe we should punch to the sky. Let's punch to the sky. All right. Very nice. Get everything nice and warm. And then we're going to do some chest. Muscles. We're going we're gonna to work the chest muscles. So just bring your arms in and out. Okay, alternate. From the bottom to the top. Kind of feel that chest muscles moving. Because we're going to be working all. All the, we're going to work all the bar, all the parts of the body. And then let's do some step outs. Hands on your hips and just step out to the side. Step out to the side. Okay. And if you have a chair, hold the back of your chair and you can use the same process by stepping. Okay. And let's do this for a few, few sides. All right. Back to the other side, step out and in. Very nice. Let's do some marching. Let's do some marching. Pick your feet up. Use your arms. And again, you can do this warm up sitting or standing. So if you're if you're seated in a chair, you can adjust and modify this warm up to do it in a chair or standing as I'm standing. I just want to show all different modifications to all of these exercises so you can modify it to your certain situation. All right, looks good. Let's do real quick some toe raises. Again, if you have a chair, you can get on the back of your chair and I want you to go up, up on your toes and back down, up on your toes, back down. Okay, if you've got a back of a chair, you can hold on and back down. Kind of show you on the side. We're just going up and down on our toes. Okay, you're going to hold the back of your chair. Hold the back of your chair and go up and down. Very nice. Okay, so get a drink. We did the warm up. Very nice. So take a break. Get you a quick drink. Again, have water on hand. I want you to breathe in. Breathe out, shake it out. 
because now we're going to get into the resistance band exercise. Now we're getting into the fun part. So we're going to start today's program with the lower body. And we're going to um, do resistance bands with the lower body. One thing I want to point out before we get into the exercise program and why you're taking a short break and you're drinking your water is many times with my clients, um, they do a, my, the senior clients that I have um, do a very good job of walking or biking or swimming. They're doing a really good job of cardiorespiratory exercise during the week. So they're, they're getting some movement in, which is great. But I want to stress, and I stress this to my clients as well, that not only is it important that you get that cardiorespiratory exercise, but you also want to get in every week some resistance training. And that's either using resistance bands, that's either using gravity and using your own body weight to exercise, whether you're using bands or cords or weights or whatever mode it is or whatever equipment you have, it's really important that we do both, that we do our cardiorespiratory training and that we also train our body, keep our muscles and our body and our tendons flexible and that we also keep that, that, that strength um, of our body moving. It's really important, especially as we get older and as we age, that we don't just simply do the walking, the biking, the swimming. Th those are all great activities and you need to do those. But you also want to add in the strength building and the strength um, exercises. Again, either using resistance bands at a gym, using weights, using dumbbells, using bottles of water. You want to make sure you get all that in, in addition to cardiorespiratory. Okay, so let's get, let's start with the lower body. So get your chair, your sturdy chair. I want you to sit up straight. I want you to have your back straight, your feet flat on the floor. And the first exercise we're going to do is called a point and flex. So I'm going to place my resistance band right under my foot. I'm going to take and hold my bands in my hand. I'm going to secure them at my hip. And I just simply want to put my hand and flex. Okay, you're pointing and flexing your foot. And let's do this to a count of one, two, three, four, five, six, come on, seven, eight, nine, and 10. You're gonna feel this all along your leg, and then we're gonna move it to the other leg. You're gonna feel this all along your leg. It's great for balance, it's great for walking, it keeps your legs um, and your muscles, two, three, flexible, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10. Very nice, so that's point and flex. Again, if you don't have a band, you can simply do the same procedure, the same, the same um, exercise, without the band. If that was too easy, you can move up a band to the medium or to the heavy band. Um, so you can, again, adjust the, um, adjust the resistance so it makes it more challenging. So you can modify all of these exercises. Again, make sure you're sitting up straight um, in your chair. Let's do some leg lifts. So again, um, well, let's do our other side over here. One, two, we're going to do 10 more. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and bring it home, 10. Very nice. So now we're gonna do leg lifts. The same thing, I want you to take your resistance band, place it under your foot. I want you to leave your legs straight, anchor your band at your hip, and just lift your leg, okay? And we're gonna do the count of 10, nine, you're really going to feel this in your leg, your upper legs, your hamstrings, quads, nine, and we're going to do 10. Okay, let's take the other side, place our foot underneath, anchor, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, and 10. Very good. Again, modification. You can do this same exercise without the bands if you don't have bands available, um, just by simply lifting your leg and lifting the leg up, okay? Let's do some leg presses. Again, we're gonna hold on to the, we're gonna put the band under our foot. We're going to have the, our feet stationary on the floor, anchor the bands at your hip, and then you're just gonna pull in and push. Pull in and push. I need to tighten my band a little bit, it's a little loose. You wanna get some resistance. Push in, push in, I need to tighten it again. There you go, out, and let's do 10. One, two, sit up straight, don't hold your breath, remember the deep breathing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very nice. You should have felt that. Now, leg. again, you want to have the resistance. Make sure you have some resistance if you're using these bands so that it helps to pull this leg back and then press. Pull back and press. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, bring it home, nine, and 10. Very good. All right, looking good. Let's do some hip moves, okay? Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the program, I had that resistance band that was a circle, that was complete circle, completely uh, around the circle band. You can use that by putting it on your legs and then you can use, the, um, use it for exercises like I'm gonna show you now. We're gonna be doing a hip move. And what I want you to do is sit up straight, okay? Feet flat on the floor. Take your band and wrap it around your upper thighs like I have here. And then I want you to wrap it around, cross, and just hold it at the top, okay? And now what we're gonna do, sit up straight, back straight, core engaged, and just move your foot. I want you to step out, okay? So step out, I'm gonna do my right foot. Step out, step back in. Step out, step back in, okay? You got that down? Let's do 10 of these, each side. So ready, step. One, two, three, four, five, keep breathing, six, seven, eight, and feel this in your hip, nine, and ten. It's going to keep our hip mobile strengthened. Okay, let's do the other side. Okay, let's do a count of 10. One, step out, two, step out, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and bring it home with 10, very nice. Now, just as we mentioned with all the other exercises, if this is too difficult or you're not quite there yet with the resistance bands, you can do this exercise without the resistance band and just go through the movement, okay? Just step out and step in. And it's really best if you step up and step out. You could slide your foot. If you're not able to step up, you can certainly slide your foot that's still gonna give you some movement in your hip and your muscles and your upper legs, but it's better if you can step out. Okay, very nice. So we actually just did the um, exercises for the lower body. Great job. Hope everyone's feeling energized on this Saturday morning. And now let's go and do the upper body. Take a quick break, get you some water. Remember our breathing, we're gonna breathe in and breathe out. Okay, we're going to breathe in and we're going to breathe out. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do, and I want to show you, I'm probably going to show you sideways, is I want to um, 
I want to do some core and some ab work as we start the upper body. And let me show you on the side so that you can see me out there. So I want you to hold your resistance band in front of you, shoulder um, height. And I want you to sit yourself about mid chair. I want your back straight. I want your core engaged. I want your body aligned, okay? I want your head aligned, your back aligned, your back straight. And then just simply move back to the back of the chair and then move back up. You're going to feel this in your abs, in your core, and it's a great exercise. And let's do this for a count of 10, 9, 8, easy and slow, easy and slow, slow and easy, 9, and we'll go to. We're going to do 12, 10, and 11, and we might do 12. There we go. That's enough. That sounds, that, that worked good. Hopefully you felt that in your abs and in your core. And now, as we work on our upper body, we're going to do some chest exercises. And what I want you to do for that is I want you to wrap the band around your back like I'm doing. Um, you can actually take it probably easier just to take it over your arm like so get it positioned about chest tight swing your arms up under your arms so the bands are under your arm hold it get some resistance, resistance whatever works for you whatever your level and wrap mine and then from there we're going to pull we're going to push out okay need in my bands. The great thing about these bands is you can add resistance just by wrapping it tighter. So I've got tighter resistance. So ready, let's do 10. One, two, feel that in your chest muscles. Three, four, five, six, seven. There you go. Eight, nine, and 10. Very nice. Hopefully you felt that in the chest muscles, eyes, your pecs. And now let's work on overhead shoulder presses. This is going to work your shoulder, which I certainly need because I have one shoulder that gives me some problems sometimes. So let's step on the band. Okay, so I'm going to move the band here. I'm going to step on the band with my right foot. I want you to hold into the band and again you can adjust the resistance you move down further it's going to be harder this is going to be a much tougher exercise if i move up on the band it's going to be looser okay so it's, again that's why i love the bands you can adjust them depending on your own so let's do some sh shoulder okay so we're going to move up we're going to press one two three four, five, six, you should feel that in your shoulders, seven, eight, nine, very nice. Now we're going to flip it. We're going to do the other side. Okay, so let's position our band on the floor. Let's step on that band. Let's get the stretch we need, the resistance we need what works for you and then we're going to go up one two sit up straight don't hold your breath remember breathe in and out six seven eight nine and ten very nice hopefully you felt that shoulder muscle working kind of our shoulders flexible and all these muscles we're working, it's really so important as we go about our daily activities, just our daily activities are getting in and out of cars and tubs and on and off toilets. All these exercises help to keep all of those muscles that are so important as we age flexible and strengthened and so that we're walking better and we're moving better and we're reaching and we're able to do things much better than if we did no strength training at all. So I encourage you 
again, as I mentioned earlier, to do um, the strength training. Work on our triceps. Let's work on the back of our arm, which is a very, the large muscle in the, in the top of our arm is the tricep. And I'm going to go to the side. Um, well, let me just move the chair so I can show you how this is going to work. Okay, so sit in your chair. Again, no slouching out there, no slouching. So I want you to step on the band. I want you to hold it in your arm. And then what we're going to do is you're just going to have your feet flat on the floor. I want you to sit straight up and just move your elbow back. Okay, just you're going to bend your elbow back. Okay, and that's why I wanted to move the chair for the camera. Okay, so that's one, two, and we're going to do five of these. Three, four, and five. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, I'll move the chair straight now. So you already saw how it's done. I'll move in the chair a little bit. So we're going to take it, and again, the other arm, just move your elbow. Okay, one two, three, keep your hands straight, feet flat on the floor, your body straight, four, and five. Very nice. So we worked our triceps. Now, what do you think we're going to work now if we worked the tricep muscle of the arm? What do you think is going to be next? Yep, it's the bicep. We're going to work that bicep muscle. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take the band. Again, we're going to step on it. As you can see, a lot of these movements are very similar, so they're very easy. So get your resistance, get good resistance on this for the tri biceps. And then let's just pull up, flex your bicep. One, move up to your shoulder. Two, to your chest. Three, four. And we're just going to do five, five. Okay, let's move to the other side. Okay, wrap it, get the resistance you need. We're gonna do again five, okay? So pull up, one, curl, two, and four. Feel that working your bicep, and five. All right, okay, take a quick break. Get some water if you need it. The final exercise we're going to do is what's called pull-aparts. And that's going to work the very important muscles in our back, um, which is, you know, really good for um, upper back strength and posture and how we're walking. And all I want you to do, sit up straight in your chair, okay? And I want you to hang on to the resistance band. And then I want you to pull back and pull it back and flex, okay, the back, your back. So go and then pull back. You're going to bring your shoulder blades together. And we're going to do this to a count of five, four, three. Sit straight up. Two and one. And you can feel that flexing in your back. All right. Well, great moves. Um, take a few minutes. Take a few deep breaths. Because what we're going to do now is, as I told you earlier, did all the exercises. You all did a great job. Hopefully it was easy and fun. And you can see where you can incorporate this into your week very easily. Simply sitting in a chair. You can get a lot done and a lot of good moves and a lot of benefits just by sitting in the chair if that's what you prefer or if that's your current situation and you're in a chair. These are exercises that you can do standing or seated. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to finish off the day by doing some stretches. And so I did my warm-up, my stretches seated in a chair, but again, you can do these standing as well. So let's bring it home with some, some, some good stretching. Let's do some shoulder shrugs, get those shoulders working again. And then let's do some inhale. Let's inhale, exhale. Okay, so inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, and exhale down. And inhale up, and clap your hands, hold them together, and stretch side, and stretch to the side, stretch to the side, 
and stretch to the side. All right, very nice. Last thing I wanna do as we bring it home is put your foot straight out, other foot flat on the floor, foot straight out, toe pointing to the sky. And I want you just to stretch and you're gonna feel this in your back and you're gonna feel it along your legs and your back and your core and just stretch and hold that for a few minutes, hold that stretch. All right, very nice. And then let's do the other side. Okay, and just get that stretch, hold that stretch. Okay, and back and hold that stretch again. All right, very good. We're gonna bring it home and do a few, do a few feet circles. If you're standing up, you can do this. Um, circle our feet. All right, very nice. Okay, well everyone, that includes our show for today. Thank you again for having me here. Thank you for following along. You did a great job. Please join us again next week, same time, same place for another Great Age Movement show. And don't forget that all these shows are recorded on the Great Age Movement website. And I think they have there now over 60 of these shows that you can go back and access as you work through your own exercise routine. Again, keep up the walking, keep up the biking, keep up, keep up the part, cardiorespiratory, but please add in some strength training, whether it be with bands, with weights, with cords, um, whatever the, the, the equipment is, keep up that strength training. And again, have a great day. Don't forget to move your clocks, fall back, and have a great weekend. Get outside and get some sun. Bye, everybody.